All right, man, so I'm about to head up to the shoe palace around this corner. I'm hearing that these might be uh, limited, man. So only one shoe palace here is getting them and only one Foot Locker, or actually Champs Force is getting here in San Antonio. So uh, yeah, I'm about to walk around here to shoe palace. Where is that, where it's at? I ain't been here, I've been up here in a minute. So uh, yeah, here we got right here, shoe palace. Let's run in here and get this wrap and take it real quick. Eventually, I'm gonna cop these joints. Come back and get them. And they hard, man. You can flip on them. Got that cool feel over here. Joints hard, bro. Yeah, we about to head back to the crib and chop up. How to cop these joints, man. And the resale position. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage Man back with another video and today we're going to be talking about these Adida Yeezy 350v2 Desert Sage that are releasing this weekend man. I know I'm a little late with talking about these Yeezys but I feel like I needed to give you guys a couple of tips and a little bit of info about these Yeezys that are releasing this weekend weekend man i know you guys seen a little bit of the vlog i did me going to shoe palace and actually putting in for the raffle and that's one thing that we're going to be talking about in this video today man so if you're new right now what you guys do is subscribe to the channel hit that red button and hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified whenever i drop a video or either go live on the channel man and also if you do not mind please head over to ig it'll be linked down below so you can give me a follow over there and like the video right now that really shows me you guys are enjoying the content and that shows youtube you guys are enjoying the content as well man so with all that being said i hope you enjoyed the little first part of the video we're about to jump right into with the details about these yeezy 350v2 desert sage man let's get right into it first things first i was really about to give up on the shoe i was about to say man i took an l there's no reason for me to try to even get this shoe uh because earlier this week i went on Foot Locker. i tried to see if they was getting it and that really right there set the tone for me to be like all right i'm not getting this shoe uh but recently i checked foot action they not getting this shoe and then last but not least of course i checked champ sports and of course champs out of every place you guys know i did work for champ sports for like what maybe like six seven months back when i lived in oklahoma and ever since then i never really bought anything from champ sports until recently when i picked up the pair of bread 11s man uh but i went on champs and they are definitely getting the yeezys here in my location and i was like wow of course out of every shoe store they are going to be getting them here at champ sports where i'm at but depending on where you at you might be getting them i know i put houston uh, zip code in my Foot Locker app and it showed me that the Galleria was getting them so I'm like man I'm not about to drive two and a half hours over these Desert Sage but they are dope they are nice I seen an earlier view on Tops World's channel so if you guys want to see how they look very dope visuals man go check out Tops World those things are super hard and I was like man I might need to put in the extra effort to get these Desert Sage CG 350 V2s so that's why you seen the earlier part of the video your boy was going to Shoe Palace putting it for the raffle that is the only Shoe Palace that are getting them here where I'm at. So I'm really thinking these joints are quite limited, man. You know how Yeezys are, they don't really put a lot of shoes out, I guess you could say, because usually on the release date, the shoes are all sold out. And also it's only one Champ Sports getting these Yeezys here in my location as well, man. So no Foot Locker, usually the Yeezys go to Foot Locker, but then with the Champs, no foot action. I'm not sure if Finish Line are getting them. I always try to log in the Finish Line. I always get like an error message. So pretty much I need to just delete the Finish Line app off my phone, because I'm never gonna win on that app i don't know what's going on with my account with finish line but they do not want your boy to get a pair of shoes from there and i don't remember ever buying a pair of shoes in finish line either so maybe i need to go like re-register with a different email or something like that but finish line is out the window for me copying the easy 350 v2s man but i do know finish line already sent out all notifications for the people that already hit on these yeezys man so of course your boy not in it but let me know down below if you hit on finish line uh you know what foot locker champs and foot action they have not released who won the shoe yet? So let me know right now down below. And also wanted to tell you guys, man, make sure you go and put in for the raffles. Like I said, this is the last day. I think tomorrow is the last day that they put in for the raffles at Shoe Palace. But I know a little down south where I'm from, DTLR always does it up until like the Thursday. So make sure you go check it out. Call whoever doing it. Jimmy Jazz might be doing first come, first serve. They might be doing a raffle. Just call around, put the footwork in, and see who getting them, man. And like I said, I was about to give up on this shoe, man. But I seen an early review, and I was like, bro, somebody got to be getting these Yeezys down here where I'm at. 
Like I said, I called around and only one Street Palace was getting them. And one of my champs app after Foot Locker wasn't getting them, after Foot Action wasn't getting them. And of course, <laughs> they were getting the Yeezy 350v2s, man. I don't know what this means for like the future of Yeezys. I don't know if they're gonna be going to more limited, but these right here, I'm gonna put a picture up right here. Of course, you're gonna see in the thumbnail if you don't know what we're talking about. I think they're very dope and they got like a reflective hit all throughout usually where you get the supply 350 let me grab a easy right quick so i can show you guys so here you have it here you have it usually you get like the supply 350 or either you get like a clear see-through strip right here but this one right here is all reflective i think it is very dope like i said if you ain't checked out the earlier view at man make sure you go check it out right now and i might change your opinion on if you want to put in the extra work to cop these joints or if you want to spend the resale or if you want to buy them early i know last year a lot of people was complaining about the same type of colorways we we're getting with the 350 v2s but now they switching up a little bit and they gave us these desert sage and even without the pull tab i still really like these 350 v2s so like i said let me know right now in the comment section below if you already went to your Foot Locker app, if you went to your Champs, Foot Action, Finish Lines, let me know all that down below so we can get some discussion going. And let me know if you hit on Finish Line already down below as well, man. Usually with Shoe Palace down here, I try to go to every single Shoe Palace, uh, but I called everyone and they told me that's only one Shoe Palace here in San Antonio that are getting these easies, man. So I was like, damn, hopefully I get them. Hopefully I can bring out that dope review and on feet. And hopefully I can just throw them in the collection, man, because I think they are very dope. So March 14th, $220 is the retail, of course. They haven't changed the retail price for 350v2s or 350s in general uh, for a minute. Hopefully they don't ever change it, but you know, they might mock Jordan and keep increasing the prices on shoes, which I really do not like, man. So hopefully they keep it 220 or maybe even go down to 200. I wouldn't complain about that either. I know you guys win as well. But let me know down below your thoughts and opinions over these Yeezys. I know it's probably a lot of people like, man, I'm kind of tired of Yeezys. They flooded Yeezys last year. I myself said that. They was dropping a lot of the same colorways in the 350v2s. So let me know down below. And another other Yeezy that I want to talk about, hopefully drop more of this shoe, maybe do a restock or something, is the 700 V3s, uh, the white colorway one, and they also about to drop a black colorway, so hopefully your boy can get one of those in the collection. You guys know I love 700s, I love the V1s and the V2s, so hopefully your boy can cop a pair of the V3s. But on the resale market, them joints is going for like six, $700, and I ain't with all that. So right now I'm about to check the current resale on StockX real quick. And I think they had them on like the most popular shoes. They did not. So let me check it out real quick. Uh, Desert, Sage, boom, boom, here we go. And let me see. So size nine right now, it's going for $300. And I think the highest price one is $320. And that is for size four. So, or actually a size 15 is going for $1,200 which that's gonna drop tremendously around release date. And then for size 14, they're going for $335, man. So I guess that's one of those unicorn sizes you don't see a lot. So maybe that's why the resale is kind of high right now on those Yeezys. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got a couple of tips, a couple of infos about the sneakers. You still have a chance to put in for the raffle for the Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champ Sport app. So make sure you go check right now on your apps to see if you can put in for the raffle. They already took my 1,500 points from Champ Sports. I got four head starts, so hopefully I get a W, but you never know with this new program. Make sure the notification bells are on because tomorrow I'll be dropping an early review and on feet over the Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. As you guys do know, they pushed a release back on those and a couple other sneakers, but we're gonna save that one for another video because I have a couple little shoes already that they pushed the release date back on. And then on Friday, I'm gonna drop an early review on our feet for you guys over the Air Jordan 4 Neons or Air Max, whatever you wanna call it. So I appreciate all of the support. Make sure you subscribe right now to the channel. Hit the like button, head over to IG and follow me at Adventures World. It'll be linked down below. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.